feeling like a virgin for some reason. I am on virgin voyages. The Scarlet Lady, I'm taking my virgin cruise on virgin cruise lines. Come along, I'm gonna show you our room. We are in 14306A, which means we are on the port side. Z is the starboard. Come on inside. Starting this way, as you enter the room, you have the closet system, which is pretty bare bones for this room. We have a shelf on top. We have a hanging rod. There's a few hangers, not a bunch. If you need more hangers, talk to your cabin steward. We have Tupac, who's our cabin steward. I haven't asked him yet, but um, I don't think he looks like the Tupac that's been missing. There's a little bit of storage down below. Our backpacks are already stored down there. And there's a closet. And you have a cover for all your clothes. There's a closet cover that'll cover all the clothes. And these are your buttons to communicate with your room stewards. If you push the top button, that is my do not disturb button. Do not come into my room is what that button means. And it's just a simple touch. And when you're leaving your cabin and you want your one daily cabin service, you tap that one and your room stewards will come and take care of your cabin. But right now, we'll just leave the do not disturb on. These are the cabin light switches. As we advance a little bit more, we have this side of the closet system. You have a couple pool towels. There's a safe for all your documents, your money, and all that kind of good stuff your cabin hair dryer, and then you have a few shelves also, and a full length mirror just to the right of me. And then as you enter the cabin on the right hand side, all the controls for your heating and cooling is located right there. And below that is the bathroom light switch. I already looked in the bathroom, couldn't find the light switch. It's the one located right here. And then as you advance forward a little bit more, you have a full length mirror on the right hand side. And here we are. <laughs> then you have a, a day chair for hanging out. And the bed right now is set up for the nighttime. This also moves, they change the configuration and they move it to a day bed situation. I haven't seen it yet because this is how we found the cabin as we advanced inside. There's plenty of lighting as we get here and a table for your coffee or your breakfast in bed, or if you have to do any working, it's right there as well. Behind me, another mirror right in front of the table, so that's great for makeup and all that kind of good stuff. There is a small stool there, so if you're doing makeup, you have a place to sit. Small garbage can, including recycling, very nice. Couple more small cubbies, which are very handy, binoculars, cameras, all your uh, good little things that you need to keep handy. Over here on the desk itself, we have the remote control. I'm gonna do a video on the TV system here later, as soon as I figure it out. And there's also the iPad, which controls a lot of the mood lighting and uh, the curtains and good stuff like that. And I haven't played with this yet either, so more of that will be coming. We have the red book, which is all the details of the voyage and our cabin. Haven't looked at it yet, but we got ship eats, the bars, how to do all the neat stuff, the do not disturb, your hair dryer location, your tablet, how to use everything, the USB ports, everything. Even a nice note from Richard Branson himself. How cool is this? That's all located in the red book. And then we got the Ahoy Sailor and this is our deck plans. Got a nice little cocktail neck in there. And then we have a telephone all set up to go. Your emergency, your medical, and your sailor services are all ready to go. We have an ice bucket. Is there any ice? Not yet. We'll ask our steward for some ice. And they give you water 
all the time. I understand this is always kept full by your cabin stewards and of course a couple glasses. Down below we have a refrigerator. Very very handy. We'll figure out how to load this thing up in a little bit. As we continue on, what do we have? Looks like a nice throw blanket. I like the location of the bed being right next to the window. You have a very nice vantage of your balcony. There's even some light switches just behind the pillows there so you can access it from uh, when you're laying in bed. This I've seen the layouts. If they do twins, one bed goes that way, and the other. This is the platform for the okay. other bed. Okay, very good. Right here, so it's kind of a L-shaped. If you do twins, very that's good. how they split that. Take a look at our nice little flat-screen TV on the wall. There's even a welcome message on it that I saw earlier. I don't see it now. <laughs> Already broken. You can watch your safety video either here on the TV or in um, on your phone once you get checked in. So there's a lot to do with the movies here. I understand it's much like an airplane. We'll find out more and we'll advance that in a future video, of course. Very nice looking cabin, very clean, very modern. But anybody who cruises with Bob and Natalie know we love our balconies. So we have two chairs, a small table. Nice view of the Port of Miami while we're here. There's the Miami skyline just to our right a little bit. So with the sound of them loading stuff onto the truck, I have figured out exactly what this balcony is made for. It's made for the hammock. Oh my gosh, this is comfortable. With my feet on the table, this is balcony living. Next in our tour is the bathroom. Very well appointed. Not a lot of room, but it's very well laid out. It's got the toilet. <laughs> nice sink area complete with makeup mirrors and lighting. Water glasses. Got the water glasses. Woo! Shower door opens towards you. Good size shower with a spray wand and if you look straight up you have only a rain head. Oh. So there's not a shower head, you just have the rain head. So you're gonna have to use the wand if you don't like the rain head. But it's got the soap dish and then all the onboard soap, shampoos, and uh, conditioner. Yay, conditioner. It's always nice, that's always nice. Nice and clean, tight, but clean. Yeah. A couple of extra hooks. Even a couple rope hooks here. No ropes. No ropes. And I did find, as we continue on, Cute There's a couple hooks here also, so if you have a bathrobe or a jacket, why would you have a jacket on a cruise? Nah. Anyway, if you have uh, hooks for your hats, cameras, whatever you need the hooks for. Very nice. We did find those. This is an interior stateroom. Come along, we're going to show you what an interior layout looks like on the Scarlet Lady. The interior is very well set up. It includes the refrigerator. It has the water, the ice, the phone, the desk, the mirror. It is exactly laid out the same as a balcony cabin without the balcony. Very well appointed, very comfortable. Here, do you the bathroom real quick. Alrighty, they're the same. That's a standard interior stateroom on the Scarlet Lady. 
The next category on our tour is the ocean view, which is called the sea view on this boat. We are on 12 360A. This is a forward facing sea view cabin. It might look familiar. It's the king bed configuration. All the same. But this one has a window instead of a balcony. This one's kind of unique because it's forward facing. So you get the bulkhead. You have a very nice view actually. Yeah. <laughs> a flag. Sea view. Goes. Yeah. That's the inside of the shower. <laughs> and you have what? That's king bed, I guess. Even on here, how can you? You have a whole seat. Oh, Mark. And a window. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. wild. How do you like the rain shower thing? Oh, pretty it's good. Great. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. And then we have All a right. separate toilet room. So oh door. man! Sliding door. And we had rough seas and it was sliding whoa, 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 whoa. no double <laughs> sinks, but a big, big, big sink. Yeah. And a huge mirror. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, you guys have a whole closet okay, you system have in we here. Have we yeah. have none. Oh, wow. so, and then we, we have, have not one drawer. Best Look at them closet. with all of her yeah. hanging. Yeah. And it's not working. That usually turns to a light. This is where the champagne bucket goes. Do they give you the champagne bucket? No. You gotta, you gotta you order have to it shake from the or room service or yeah. something, right? Okay, and so your, yeah, our hammock pretty much, I think our the regular sea terrace <laughs> ends about right there. Because right next to us is a sea terrace. Oh, okay, so and you've so, been able to kind of peek around. That's right. huge. You've seen them, you know, and like, they have that kicker all thing. of your... Well, plus they just throw them around. Yeah, they, yeah. I mean, they're like, did you see I made a three-point shot? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so no. the perk that I, mean, I actually like the best. I was going to ask you, what do you think? Um, they'll do your laundry. Uh, That's a big.